Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about spanning trees and discuss minimum spanning trees. Now what is a spanning tree? A spanning tree is a tree. So it's a subgraph of an undirected graph G and it contains or spans each and every vertex in G. So let's consider this graph here. Now these are three spanning trees because they contain each and every vertex of G. And a spanning tree by definition is a tree and it spans or contains all the vertices in G. Now let's consider a weighted graph. A weighted graph is a graph in which each edge has a weight, some real number. Now if you add up or sum all the weights of these edges, you'll get the weight of the complete graph. Now let's consider spanning trees of a weighted graph. So if we consider the same graph as before, but now we add some weights to the edges. Now you will see that, the, that there are three spanning trees here that are shown. And if you add up the weights on the edges of these different graphs, you will see that the different trees have different weights. For example, tree one has weight 74, T2 has weight 71, and T3 has weight 72. So all these different graphs have different weights. Now, what is a minimum spanning tree? So if you consider these three trees here, you will find that tree two has a weight of 71, and that is essentially the minimum spanning tree of this particular graph. So it's minimum spanning tree, by definition is a spanning tree and it spans or contains all the vertices of this graph and because the graph is a weighted graph if you add up all the weights of the edges of this spanning tree and if this addition is the minimum weight among all the different spanning trees it is called the minimum spanning tree. So now let's talk about whether minimum spanning trees are unique. Now, minimum spanning trees may not necessarily be unique. Now, we're not going to prove this, but if the weights of all the edges are pairwise distinct, they, the minimum spanning tree will turn out to be unique. So this is something to note here. So let's consider why the minimum spanning tree may not be unique. So let's consider this weighted graph here. And in this weighted graph, we have two minimum spanning trees, MST1 and MST2. And you will see that the, the weights of both these spanning trees are the same. Essentially, the weights of both these trees are 24 plus 2 plus 1 plus 67. That is equal to 94. So the weights of both these spanning trees is 94. So the spanning tree or a minimum spanning tree may not necessarily be unique. Now, we'll conclude this video by talking about how we one might find a minimum spanning tree. Now, in the next couple of videos, we'll talk about two algorithms, specifically Prim's algorithm and Kruskal's algorithm to find out the minimum spanning tree. But here, I'll just give you the overview of how to design such an algorithm. So the minimum spanning tree or MST problem is the can be stated as follows. Now you are given a connected weighted undirected graph G and the goal is to design an algorithm that outputs a minimum spanning tree or MST of G. Now how do we go about solving this? The first thing to note is a tree is an acyclic graph. Okay, so we can start with an empty graph. Okay, and then we add edges to this graph. So we add edges one at a time, making sure that whatever is added maintains this acyclic property. So you add one edge at a time to this empty graph, making sure that the graph remains acyclic. So with this, we'll at least make sure that we are getting a tree. Additionally, we, are, we have to make sure that every time the resulting graph that we get by adding this new edge is a subset of some minimum spanning tree. That is the next thing that we have to ensure, that whenever we add this edge, it continues to be a minimum spanning tree, or it's a subset of a minimum spanning tree. Now we'll study how Prim's algorithm and Kruskal's algorithm achieve this, but in this video, 
we'll stop here. Thank you for watching.